This is a very quick follow-on Bubble tutorial video showing you how to edit events using uh, the Bubble Calendar plugin. So as a quick recap, I've got a page here running full calendar that's created by Bubble. And in the previous Bubble tutorial video, I showed you how to add events to the calendar and display the calendar on your page. So there's a few ways that you can edit an event in Bubble. Using this calendar plugin, I can say modify through uh, dragging start and end. And it looks like I need to update my privacy rules uh, to do this. So I will go into uh, events, define new role, say user. And then let's have a uh, current user is this events creator. Uh, and uh, I'm probably hinting that I need to set auto binding in order to be able to drag and drop. Uh, let's just turn auto binding on for all of those elements for now. Okay, so uh, go back into design. What have I done? I've said enable modification through dragging end and start. So if I go on to day view and then uh, go on to the 25th, I have uh, an event here called Christmas lunch and um, I can drag the event here and when I release it, it updates the time and it saves that right away into my database. And I can do the same thing uh, with week view. In fact, then I can drag it between multiple days. There it is. Uh, and you notice there is a little bit of a short refresh time um, and that's just uh, bubble writing the data to your app's database. Um, now there's one other thing I can do here, which is uh, modification through resizing. So I now have uh, weirdly got my Christmas lunch. Here it is, uh, really late in the afternoon. Now Christmas lunch is a, is a long ordeal, um, but it's not that long. Uh, so let me try uh, resizing it. So drag it up there and now I can click on the bottom and I can drag it down. And there you go, it updates the time. Now, one final way I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to edit an event. And that would be uh, what happens if a user just clicks on the event. So you can, of course, take them through to an events page. Uh, you could do any number of things but by building a workflow for when an event is clicked upon. Um, but for now, I'm going to uh, show you how to do it with a pop-up. And so this pop-up is going to be of type event. And um, it's going to, uh, yeah, data source, I'm going to add that when I um, show the pop-up. Uh, I'm just going to copy all of these uh, into my pop-up. and then uh, set them to uh, fill in their initial content from the event that I'm going to store in the pop-up. Uh, so then this would be current view events finished, uh, event label, and then this is going to be uh, save changes this time. Uh, and then my workflow goes something like this, make changes to a thing, uh, group, uh, parent groups, Let's go pop up events just to be sure. Uh, and then uh, start equals, um, ah, now I've got loads, I've got four different um, date pickers. So it's C and D. If I was not rushing through this, I would label them properly. Um, so this would be date picker C, finish, date picker D, and then uh, label is uh, input B, input, let me check that again, should be labeling things correctly, input B, input A is there. Uh, I then want to uh, dismiss the um, pop-up by hide, pop-up, uh, and um, lastly, I need to tell Bubble to do something when the event is clicked, and so I believe that that would then be found in here, here we go. When event, calendar event is clicked, I would show pop up and I need to display data in it, which would be 
uh, this calendar's uh, current event. That's the one that's been clicked on. So let's test that. So if I click on Christmas lunch, it then loads up the details for Christmas lunch and I can say actually Christmas lunch is starting an hour earlier. Save changes and you can see that it's been updated. And if I go onto the day view for the 25th, you can see it's now gone up to 11. And if I click on it here, again, I get this pop-up. It populates with the event. I can make changes to it and I can save it. So there you have it, three different ways to edit events in Bubble using the uh, calendar plugin by Bubble.